Thousands of Russians are being evacuated from the border region of Kursk as the Russian army is struggling to repel Ukrainian troops' attack. More than 8,000 people have left the border areas over the past 24 hours, Russian Emergencies Ministry stated on its official Telegram channel on Sunday. There are about 6,000 citizens in temporary tents. Specialists from the Center for Emergency Psychological Assistance of the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Russia and the Regional Department of the Agency are working with them, the ministry statement reads. The ministry stated that humanitarian aid supplies are continuously arriving in the region, with another five convoys scheduled to arrive on Sunday. The aid convoy includes tents, bedding and other equipment. Local residents are being provided with round-the-clock comprehensive support information related to the issues of temporary resettlement, accommodation in temporary accommodations, humanitarian aid, search for relatives and other support measures, the statement adds. Russia's defense ministry on Saturday released footage showing tanks, troops and artillery systems deployed to Kursk in a bid to fight off Ukrainian armed forces in the area. Ukrainian troops supported with armored vehicles and tanks, launched a large-scale attack on Russia's western Kursk region on Tuesday. The surprise attack prompted thousands of civilians to flee from both sides of the border. Ukraine's incursion marks the largest attack on Russian territory since the full-scale invasion in February 2022. Ukrainian forces staged ambush on a Russian Kamaz convoys inside the international border in Russia's Kursk province, as the Kremlin declared a federal emergency and said it was transferring extra forces to try to snuff out a four-day incursion that has badly damaged its credibility. A video circulated by Russian military bloggers showed a destroyed convoy, with bodies just visible inside some trucks, on the E-38 East-West Highway at Oktyabrsko, a location far deeper inside Russia than any previously confirmed fighting since Ukraine's forces crossed the border. Commentators said the attack, reminiscent of Ukrainian attacks on Russian troops besieging Kiev in the first weeks of the war, demonstrated an effective hit-and-run strategy, but the incursion appeared likely to draw an escalating response from the Kremlin, and its overall outcome remains profoundly uncertain. Russian pro-war military bloggers are criticizing Russia's military leadership after this. Commenting on the incident, war bloggers said the convoy was allegedly destroyed by a US-made HIMARS rocket system and slammed its command for the incident. All of this is not just the result of the unyielding stupidity of the individual who organized the convoy movement near the border in the third year of the war and then had it remain stationary, but also the result of the overall chaotic situation of hastily pulling reserves to the breakthrough area, for which they were completely unprepared, the pro-war telegram channel Voyany Osvedomidal wrote. Some military bloggers called for those responsible for the column movement to be severely punished. For organizing soldiers' movements in columns we need executions today, military blogger Roman Alakin wrote, 
referring to assault penal military units, which usually suffer high casualties. Those who gave the order to move in columns in the area of observation of copters and himars should also be sentenced according to the laws of wartime, today this is an assault penal squad, Alakin said. The Russian pro-war telegram channel Rybar, which has over 1.2 million subscribers, said that recent footage from the Kursk region shows that nearly three years of fighting still haven't taught some people anything, adding, however, that such decisions are far from the level of the general staff. By the third year of the war, even a monkey could have learned this, but not some staff general from the defense ministry who orders these deadly marches in the frontline zone, wrote the telegram channel Trinatsity.